Come to the cross like a small boat Sailing across the reef And the calm of my Christ is waiting Beyond the waves of grief Coming home, Jesus coming home Not going to sail no more Coming home, Lord, into heaven Sailing on the promised shore I come to the cross like a sea stone Wet in the Savior's hand He will polish me for his glory Safe in the promised land Coming home, Jesus coming home Not going to drown no more Coming home, Lord, into heaven, home and dry on the shore. I come to the cross like a river, holding down to the sea. And the tide of love watches red, red, down from the cross to me. Coming home, Jesus coming home, not running down no more. Coming home, Lord, into heaven, singing on the promised shore. Good morning to everybody. Good morning, Father. And let us bless, O God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us now call to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy. 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 Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May God Almighty have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Psalms and Canticle from Saturday week four. It is good to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-stringed lyre and the lute with the murmuring sound of the harp, your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands, I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish, all doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength, you anoint me with purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes, my ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. Still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. It is good to make music, music to, to your, your name, name almost high, high, to proclaim your love in the morning. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you, and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will take out of your flesh the heart of stone, and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and to be careful to observe my ordinances. You shall dwell in the land which I gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I, I will give you, you a, a new heart, heart and, put and put a new, a new spirit, spirit in, in you. you. On the lips of children and of babes, you have found the praise, Lord. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to fall your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hand, put all the things under his feet. All of them, sheep and the cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. On the and lips, lips of, of children and of babes, you have found, found praise, praise, Lord. Lord. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and the humble, to be the mother of the Savior, grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord says this, If you do away with a yoke, the clenched fist, the wicked word. If you give your bread to the hungry and relief to the oppressed, your light will rise in the darkness and your shadows become like noon. The Lord will always guide you, giving you relief in desert places. He will give strength to your bones and you shall be like a watered garden like a spring of water, whose waters never run dry. You will rebuild the ancient ruins, build up on the old foundations. You will be called breach mender, restorer of ruined houses. If you refrain from trampling the Sabbath and doing business on the holy day, if you call the Sabbath delightful 
and the day sacred to the Lord honorable. If you honor it by abstaining from travel, from doing business, and from gossip, then you shall find happiness in the Lord, and I will lead you triumphant over the heights of the land. I will feed you on the heritage of Jacob, your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Turn your ear, O Lord, and give answer, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. You are my God. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. Harden not your hearts today, but listen to the voice of the Lord. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. My sisters, my brothers, the Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus noticed a tax collector, Levi, by name, sitting by the customs house, and said to him, Follow me. And leaving everything, he got up and followed him. In his honor, Levi held a great reception in his house. And with them at table was a large gathering of tax collectors and others. The Pharisees and the scribes complained to his disciples and said, why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus said to them in reply, It is not those who are well who need the doctor, but the sick. I have come to call the virtuous. I have not come to call the virtuous, but sinners to repentance. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You have to, if you want to understand the conversion of Matthew, you have to first imagine the type of person that he was. Probably he started out like this as a young man, seeking his own interest, trying to see how much money that he could get. No? But he was not fulfilled. He did all what he, he wanted to do. He had the money, but he was experiencing a certain emptiness. He was experiencing an inner thirst, which is really a spiritual sickness. And Matthew probably wanted to return to the synagogue, but he could not because the people responsible are not very nice. They're not hospitable. So he found himself on the outside doing probably what he didn't want to do. Only this alone would, would explain why Jesus 
As soon as he called him, that Matthew responded immediately. Matthew was looking for a way out all the time. No? But Jesus, a great physician, came looking and he went down where Matthew was, where Matthew fell in the gutter of sin and raised him up. Now I have a feeling that Matthew was surprised. Well, not him alone, but the Pharisees and the scribes, everybody. They were surprised. The Pharisees and the scribes and those who felt that they belonged to the Lord, their surprise turned into anger. But Matthew's own turned into joy. Because finally, Matthew found what he was always looking for. He did not find it in money. Did not find it in the life he was living. So it tells us something wonderful about him. And, and he is a man who cannot, in this life, find fulfillment. So he has to go to Jesus, the great physician. And there's something here that is not true of the story of the prodigal son. Remember in the story of the prodigal son that the prodigal son come to realize his situation and he got up and he went back home to his father. And his father was waiting for him. But in this one, as I said, Matthew probably wanted to get up and return. But the Pharisees were not waiting for him. And, and, and what Jesus did, Jesus did not wait for him. But Jesus went where he was in order to raise him up. See the difference? There's a difference between both. We had a, in the prodigal son, he got up to return to his father. But Matthew is in the gutter of sin, and Jesus went down into the gutter in order to help him up, raise him up and put him where he belongs. No? And I think that that is the great surprise of Matthew. Will he come down in the gutter with me? Will he come to the party, in fact, in the, in, in the, in the movie, The Passion? When Matthew invited Jesus to the house, the in, the, you get a sense that he did not expect Jesus to come. But see, Jesus does not wait for us to come to him. He will always come to us, wherever we are. So he went into a house, it's like a house of sin. Tax collectors and prostitutes and all of those people were gathered. They're sitting on the same table with Jesus. They're touching Jesus. But Jesus went in for one purpose, to lift them up and to bring them out. To find the lost sheep, to put them on his shoulders and to bring them home. To me, it's a little, I, I find it a little more compassionate than even the prodigal son. That we, we, all, we like the prodigal son. You know, but when I thought of this, uh, last night I said to myself, but wait. The father here is not waiting for the son to come back. He's not just yearning for the son to come back. But here, he's going out, going into the gut of sin, and take him out in order to love him. And I kind of like this a lot. I like this a lot. Because even now the church is telling us that one of the things that we do is that we don't go out to knock people's doors, invite them. We wait for them to come. And that, and that is the problem of the church today. But what we see here is Jesus is not waiting. He's going down into the gutter to pull up the people who are down there in order to love them. And then, of course, we know what Matthew did, what we have in the responsorial psalm. Matthew more or less say to the Lord, Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your path. So in other words, he was following Jesus. But it's very important. Matthew's following Jesus is not simply with the feet. No? Because sometimes when we talk about following, we're thinking about the movement of the feet. This is a movement of heart. Of mind, of heart, of spirit, and of will. So Matthew is going to be fully converted. And he's going to find the peace and whatever he was looking for that he did not find in the work that he was doing. And that is true with all of us. There are many times when we find ourselves out into the cold, inside a web of sin and sorrow and 
sometimes we wonder how are we going to get out of it well remember Jesus is always coming to where we are it doesn't matter where we are how down in the gutter we are however down and out we are Jesus will come wherever we are in order to lift us up and raise up on his shoulders and make us his brothers and sisters and take us to his father that we too will be able to say Abba in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen Let us pray Lord help us by your grace Lord help us by you. let us give thanks always to Christ our Savior and to pray to him with confidence Lord, Lord help, help us, us by, by your grace Lord may we keep our bodies free from sin may the Holy Spirit dwell within us Lord, Lord help, help us by your grace teach us to offer ourselves this morning for our fellow men and women and strengthen us to do your will throughout the day Lord, Lord help, help us, us by your grace. grace grant that we may hunger for the food of eternal life give us the bread of your word and your body Lord, Lord help, help us, us by your grace may your mother the refuge of sinners intercede for us through her prayers forgive us in your mercy Lord, Lord help, help us by your grace let us sit to Francis and Jason our bishops and let us pray that they would lead us forward into Lenten repentance Lenten fast and alms giving and prayer into forsaking all for Jesus we pray Lord help us by your grace Lord and God we place the sick into the palm of your hand breathe upon them the breath of forgiveness the breath of love the breath of healing and the breath of abundant life we pray Lord help us by your grace grant the request we bring to you Lord and bestow upon us the grace that will enable us to follow you not only with our feet and our words but our mind heart spirit and will we pray Lord help us by your grace come to us today Lord Jesus and take possession of our mind our heart our soul and our will make us grow in holiness and be ready always to do your will and this prayer we make through Christ our Lord Amen Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the fruit of the Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of